This week on Silver Screen, we're coming to you from the South Carolina State Fair. Good afternoon, Dutch Fork. Today is Friday, October 21st, and your Silver Screen report starts now. At the fair, there's always a wide variety of entertainment. Caleb Hanna has the scoop. Slide of hand, squealing pigs, and singing are just a few of the ways that the State Fair brings entertainment to South Carolina. It's awesome. I have the best job in the world because I get to come out, I get to race pigs around a track for people's enjoyment. Kids love it anywhere from kids age 2 to 92 and everywhere in between. There's something for everybody at the Brisbane Pig Show. You can't just turn on the TV and catch it. you got to catch it right here, right now at the South Carolina State Fair. I say it's fun. Yeah, we enjoyed it. It's our third year here, um, and everyone here has been really gracious in bringing us in and, and been real reactive. To the performers, there's nothing like performing in front of a different crowd throughout the day and the amazing memories that come from doing their acts at the State Fair. It's something that, you know, that pe people don't see a lot of, you know. You can't turn on CBS and catch it or, or ESPN. It's right here and right now, and it's, people never see racing pigs, you know. They see racing horses, racing cars, and people love racing. But when you put a, when you put a, a racing silk on a pig and let them race for an Oreo cookie, it's a whole different different dynamic than anything you've seen before, especially when the famous pigs like Kevin Bacon and Barack Ribs Obama and Hillary Rodham Clinton are racing. Uh, probably the spontaneity. I mean, it is always different. Uh, if you do the same show, as an example, a stage show every night, and you do the same thing every night, you, you run into the chance of it being monotonous and boring. Same thing over here. Here, literally, depending on the people that show up, uh, the number of people in the crowd, the reaction that they're giving us, every show is different, so it kind of keeps us on our toes. We never know what to expect. So we kind we gotta be able to uh, improvise and move quick if we need to. That's right. Uh, just in case, you know, if it's gonna be a bigger crowd or a smaller crowd, and being able to, like you said, adjust depending on the crowd, so uh, it's it's always fun. The experiences that come from seeing entertainment at the state fair are so unique that they trump all other forms of entertainment. Because I can't. Well, first of all, I can't see it on TV, and second of all, it's live, and you know, and the, the picture's so cute, and it's just it's just different. You know, you, you, you just it has to be seen live. Or you just don't appreciate it as much. Life is always better. I mean, you can always say that's why people pay forty, fifty dollars a ticket just to see someone live that they can see on TV or on video or YouTube. Just the experience of being there, being live, and seeing it happen. I mean, live is. Yeah, if you if you see something on TV, a big illusionist. Of course, you think smoke and mirrors and what in the world happened? How did this elephant disappear? But if it's right here in front of your eyes, it's even more magical to you. This has been Caleb Hanna with your Silver Screen Report. For this week's Kids in the Hall, we asked students about their favorite aspects of the fair. I kind of like to walk around at the fair a lot more and then ride the rides and just be with my friends because it only comes kind of once a year. So. I like the rides and the food. Only the food, it's just because it's the fair. I mean, fair food is always good. It's expensive, but it's pretty good, like the fried okra and the um, fried Oreos, that's, that's pretty good. It's, it has to be the food. Yeah, my favorite part is just eating all the food that they have there. Many Dutch Fork students had their art showcased at the South Carolina State Fair. I got to catch up with a few of them earlier this week. Numerous mediums of art filled the Canty Building at the South Carolina State Fairgrounds. Artists from around the state were united by their talents. The black and white series, I was actually taking them to submit in a scholarship, so I was aiming for a theme of um, just the struggle day-to-day -day, um, general lives of people. I was in Italy when I took the picture. I was just going for the theme, like I said, and I was just taking the people doing what they do every day and that guy. Um, when I was there, I was going to the same place and he was there every day playing his instrument, um, had a basket out for money. The image I selected was just an uh, image of this, this homeless man and I painted it in a hyper-realism uh, state, um, style rather. Um, it's 40 inches by 30 inches, so I really wanted to draw you in with the detail. Um, but it's a black and white painting other than his eyes and the cross in the foreground. So those are the a little pop of color in there, um, just to sort of, you know, the eyes are the gateway to the soul. So I, I wanted this man to, 
to sort of be united in tied with this cross. So here he is obviously a, a homeless man, a veteran, you know, whoever you want him to be. Um, but here he doesn't have a roof over his head, but he's got something that a lot of people don't have, and that's faith. Dozens of people view the pieces being recognized on different levels. It feels special just for people to see what you've worked hard for. Um, I think that's how everyone, especially like for the Dutch Fork art show, just for an art show in general, for people to come and see what you've done and what you've worked hard for. I've never won best of show at the fair. I've, I have in other um, festivals and stuff like that. But, you know, when I walked around and saw, you know, everyone else's work and some of the some beautiful stuff, I mean, it just made me really humbled. Art is a beneficial addition to young students' academic life. Students should take art because art is freeing, okay? You do, you do things in here that you don't think about in other classes. Art classes like really f is a good way to like break up your day. Like if you have a whole bunch of hard classes then it's just like a fun class where you can sit and do something that you want to do. If you work like extra hard then you'll get recognized for it. Whether it be painting, drawing, photography, or any other medium, art helps individuals grow as people. I think art is just a great way to learn about yourself what you like and what mediums of art that you like and to submit your work into the fair is just a great opportunity, like I said before, just to show everyone what you've done and also to see what other people have done. Art's in all of us. Um, you know, we all have something creative to give out, whether you know it or not. I think it's a great way to express yourself and sort of balance that brain, you know, that left and right balance. It's a good way to express yourself and then also like colleges like to see that you're well-rounded on your applications. This has been Sam Aaron with your Silver Screen Report. From carousels to roller coasters, the State Fair is packed with a wide variety of rides. Thomas DeSetto checks it out. Rides are one of the most popular attractions at the fair, and setting them up can be just as tough of a process as trying to ride one. Well, we, we had a fair amount of time coming out of uh, the Eastern States Exposition, so we had about 10 days for setup here. The Midway rides attract many different people in the South Carolina area. Well, you know, there's a lot of there's a number of fairs that um, that operate without a Midway in North America. Not many, but those ones, you know, they're beginning to struggle because we become a really integral part. People really look forward to the Midway rides. So I think that we play a big part in in the production here at the South Carolina State Fair. Yet again, there is a new ride this year that will make your stomach twist and turn. Well, this year, you know, we were really fortunate we were able to bring a, uh, a brand new uh, Freako ride to the, to the fair, which is kind of a version of the Fireball, but it's on a larger pendulum and the swing is bigger. And that's made out of, uh, out of Holland and it's uh, a KMG ride. And, you know, we've had it for a couple of years, but it's the very first time we've been able to bring it to the South Carolina State Fair and it's just been super popular. Everyone has their own taste when it comes to what rides are their favorite. I'd have to say the ricochet because it's really fast, it turns uh, quickly, makes me feel on the edge. The 3000 because it goes really fast and there's no seatbelts, so all it does is hold you back. So I've always been kind of in favor of the ride behind us, the swing or the wave swinger. You know, it's just kind of like that free floating air sensation. That's always been one of our favorite rides. We've had it for ages. It's a really great German design. It could last forever, that ride. This has been Thomas DeSetto with your Silver Screen Report. The SAT Word of the Week is audacious, an adjective meaning daring and unconventional. One of the main attractions of the fair is the inventive foods. Mia Perry and Autumn Franklin tried some of the best. People from all over South Carolina come to the fair to experience the many unique foods. Hot wings and fries, and I had a turkey leg. It was so good. Corn dog when we first got here, I got the pickled corn dog. And uh, we just polished off a couple of Italian sausages, steak sundae there, and fisk fries. With all the different food options, there are many opinions on what the best dish is. I, this is my second one, so I'd say it's pretty good. But I kind of thought it was a little wow. bit bready, but it was still good. Crunchy on the outside, that's what I like. I think it depends on which one you get. The fisk one yeah. is the best, in our opinion. But you know, you can you can crunch on the sugar that's in it. It's so good. I'm just a meat person and it tasted really good. It was tender. 
Although food is one of people's favorite parts of the fair, there is controversy on whether or not the food is worth the price. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no way. But it's, you know, it's the fair. He sparred a little bit for the fair. It was because that was the best I've ever had. He'll be really honest. And this has been Autumn Franklin from the South Carolina State Fair with your Silver Screen Report. Rides, foods, and art aren't the only thing that attract people to the fair. Animal lovers come to get an up-close experience with animals they might not see in their everyday lives. China Wallace has the story. Chickens, rabbits, ducks, even milking cows. These are only some of the things you'll see in the livestock section of the fair. And I, we came down from Florence, um, just our day off, and we just wanted to actually just come to the fair specifically for the animals. So we definitely love this kind of animals just to see what, what they have. The animals at the fair are delightful. You know, we don't take time to see the different types of ducks that you might see or chickens. I've Parents, they've had animals all my life, so it's kind of the norm for me, but um, it's nice. Uh, I love the guinea pigs. They're my favorite. Exploring the animal section of the fair, fair goers definitely have their favorites. My wife likes the horses, and I probably enjoy the uh, uh, chickens. The part is actually when I get to cuddle the guinea pigs, <laughs> um, but uh, I also just like to interact with them and see the different personalities. If you uh, work with them enough, you'll notice that each chicken is completely different. Well, Probably to come to see it would be the rabbit. Seeing the animals is always fun. Fairgoers may argue that something right, should be added, while pack. others say it shouldn't change at all. Pretty much seen a wide variety. I think they have a good variety here. I really don't know what else they could have. The only thing I wish is that we had um, more of the larger animals all week. This has been China Walls with your Silver Screen Report. And now for some announcements. Monday, November 7th will now be a school day due to a makeup day from Hurricane Matthew. It will be a B day. Since schools throughout the district will be used as polling places, Tuesday, November 8th will still be a school holiday. Now to Sam for more. Thanks, Trey. The Drama Department will present Almost Maine in the auditorium tonight and tomorrow at 7, as well as Sunday at 2. Tickets will be $5 for students and $10 for adults. The Armed Service Vocational Aptitude Battery Test, or ASVAB, will be given on October 25th. The test is free of charge. Sign up at the school counseling office. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. I can't see that. Can you read from here? No. My eyes are really bad. Okay. One of the main attractions of the fair is the inventive variety of fruit. <laughs> Wait, is that it? Yeah, I should South say South Carolina. Carolina. Yeah, that makes some more sense. This week on Silver Screen, we're coming at you.